making history right now. Like, every time I touch the court, it's history. That's how I feel about it. Like, and I feel like my fans and the people that watch, they can relate in some ways. I mean, the people that really care about me. Just want to say thank you. Um, it's been a long year. This right here is for the city of Chicago more than anything. Thank you. At this point in the year, every time you get on 2K21, it's basically just a repetitive mess. Same builds, same play style, same jump shots, same everything. It can get pretty boring pretty quickly. I mean, even the people that have been coming over to Twitch to watch me stream, we've been playing 2K20. We've been having to do different things to keep it fresh. And I highly recommend you guys come through. It was so lit my last stream. We had uh, over a thousand viewers the whole time. My link will be in the description. Make sure y'all drop me a follow over on Twitch and come chill in the streams with me. But this build right here definitely gives 2K21 a fresh new feel. All right, legendary Rose build, slash and playmaker, 99 overall, playmaking takeover. Uh, you know, I made it at small forward. It's basically a point guard build. I made it at small forward because I got more badges at small forward. But check this build out, man. All right. Now, you could already see from the intro what this build does. I mean, obviously, I think we could all agree D Rose in his prime was probably slashing takeover. But I have such high dunk and layup and all that. I was like, I don't want slash take. I'm going to do something different. And I went with play take on this build. If you guys remember when I made this build, it had to be like eight months ago now. But. All the contact dunks, 99 driving layup, 73 pointer, 78 mid range, 91 ball handling, high pass accuracy. We have long arms and we have actually really, really solid defense. I mean, look at the attributes. We have offensive rebound, defensive rebound, really, really solid overall build, 98 speed. 97 excel 88 vertical this build is just freaky athletic you're jumping over people you're snagging rebounds on people it it's it's a freak athlete now you all check out the badges as you can see i'm missing two shooting badges but i get 20 shooting badges which is really really good i mean the badge spread is ridiculous 25 finishing 20 shooting 33 playmaking and then 18 defense i mean crazy badge spread now with the shooting this game it's tough to shoot with low three pointers low shot ratings you guys know this but with my jump shot it's really really consistent but you have to be precise all right i went on 2k20 for a little while i came back on this game tried to shoot on this build first game i shot like three for a thousand but after one game of me really getting used to the shooting again then you're gonna see what i was doing in these games i was if they left me open it was cash sparking it three pointers mid ranges did not matter but you have to be very precise all right so if you end up using a build like this with a low three-point rating you got to give yourself a chance all right you got to take you know take a game or two to really adjust because you have to be precise all right man but let's get into some gameplay make sure y'all drop a like on the video for me if you haven't already some of these gameplays let me just be honest some of these gameplays are ridiculous what we were doing out here on the twos all right so as you can see we're, we're playing against a big man on this one because since i'm a small forward my teammates a, uh, a lockdown he's a point guard so he gets to go against the guard i go against the center now the center is way too slow to guard me like that's just straight up look at a double team kick it out wide open three so when you're on this d rose build there's basically two choices either stand in the paint or try to guard you tight if they try to guard you tight you're too fast there's no way they can stay between you and then when you get your takeover it's literally ankles for days and let me tell you snapping people's ankles on this game is actually really really fun like we, everyone in the party's going crazy you're going crazy it is really really satisfying to just drop people to the ground walk it back to the three everyone's laughing having a good time when you're doing stuff like this but like i said the options they have either guard you tight which is not going to work out or stand in the paint so if they decide to just stand in the paint that's when you got listen you either going to go dunk on them 
or you got to be able to shoot. And as I said, it's really precise with a low three point rating, like the post play Mercury 65 three point rating. This build is 73 point rating. You have to really know your timing if you're going to be shooting on this build. As I said, I went to play 2K20 on stream and then uh, I went to come record this video and I literally could not time my jump shot the first game. We still got the win, by the way, but we like it was bad. I could not shoot a jump shot. But after one game of practicing, warming up, then I was out here sparking it. So as you can see, this dude's pretty much guarding me. They kind of drawing a double team here or there. He decides, all right, he's just going to sit in the paint at this point. So I'm throwing flashy passes now anytime the defender comes because I got flashy pass around Hall of Fame, Showtime on Hall of Fame. My teammates getting takeover no matter what I do. As you can see, Hoodie already has his takeover. Now I have my takeover. This dude's basically sitting in the paint. So at this point, I'm just dunking all over him every time because he's a, he's a guard just like me. You could tell by his height. I don't know his build. I don't remember. But look at another ankle breaker, spin, contact dunk, or I don't know. He kind of jumped out of the contact dunk, but basically going crazy. If that's not enough, we're going to drop him again. Like we are literally sniping people's ankles off at this point. We are dropping people left, right, center, every single game. As you can see at this point, they're just double team and just, I'm just trolling at this point, just messing around, having a good time, split them, dunk, game over. All right. So now I know there's somebody in the comment section saying, I would just play on my center and I would sit in the paint. Well, as you can see, this weird, uh, I don't know why people make their dudes look like this, this center. I, I don't know why people put those tattoos on their body, but hey, do what you want to do. His game plan, as you can see, is just exactly what I said. I know people in the comments are saying, oh, I would just get on my, my center and stand in the paint. Hey, that sounds like fun, man. Glad you paid $60 to get the game to do that. But as you can see, even when he stands in the paint, if he's gonna leave me wide open, I'm gonna shoot it. I try to go for a contact dunk. He snatch blocks it. So he gets the better of me right there. But look at now he's thinking, all right, I'm playing against two guards. I'm gonna go crazy. I pinch. I'm able to get back, get a contest on the guard still. We get the rebound and now here we go. Look at you gonna leave me wide open. Fine. I'm gonna shoot it. And as I said, with the jump shot that I use, the jump shot I use is just so cash, bro. Like for low rated three pointers, it's the best shot possible. Another little mid range or close shot, another wide open three pointer. At this point, it's 15 0. You would think he would start to guard me, but he's basically standing in the paint still. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go get a little windmill on him. 17 to 0. We're going crazy. Look at Hoodie runs it out. He's still leaving me wide open, bro. Still leaving me wide open. 20 to 0 at this point. Still just standing in the paint. I'm trying to mess around, try to get a contact dunk or something, end up getting a layup. 22 to 0. If you just stand in the paint, if you know your shot and you're using the shot that I have, you can shoot consistent. What I shoot like three threes and three mid ranges or something like that. But although shooting with low three point ratings is fun, sometimes you just want to go dunk on somebody. And this dude's literally laid out under the hoop, straight dead body. <laughs> straight dead body. A little Euro step floater. Nice little D Rose type of play. But listen, as I said, I've been streaming over on Twitch pretty consistently now. I'm trying to get a nice little rhythm so that when 2K22 comes out, we, uh, you know, we're daily streaming for 2K22, all that, you know, release week, release month, all that stuff. We're trying to stream daily over there to uh, just experience the game with you guys and just provide some good entertainment over on the Twitch side, you know, try to build up another platform. So if you haven't already, man. As I said, the link to my Twitch is in the description. Make sure y'all go drop me a follow. The streams have been great. I, literally, my second day back, we already averaging over a thousand viewers over there. It was it, it, it was such a fun stream. We played 2K20, 2K21. We had some pro am games. Like we we've been doing it all over there. All right, so make sure y'all drop me a follow. But overall, as you can see, this build it, it's very D Rose like, and it's a lot of fun to play on. At this point in the year, you just want something different to play on, man. It's so repetitive playing on a play shot, a paint beast every damn game. This is something different. Of course, it has. Has its challenges with a low three ball like i said you have to be very precise in your jump shot timing but overall it's just such a fun build if they play you tight they literally cannot guard you see we're throwing flashy passes even if they don't work out they go out of bounds like that it is what it is but we're just having fun with it man just having a good time contact dunks ankle breakers every single game this is definitely a really really fun build to play on in terms of being comp i would say it's one of my one of the like least comp builds i have if that makes sense in terms of like being easy to play on easy to win on like to win on this build you actually you got to know what you're doing and you have to have the right teammates around you because if you're on this build and you got like a paint beast on your team and a lockdown that can't shoot like you're gonna struggle because the, the paint's gonna constantly be clogged and although yes you can shoot on this build 
this is a this is a D Rose build for a reason. You want to get into that paint. You want to get into the teeth of the defense, collapse the defense, be able to play make out of it. You know, get dunks out of it, contact dunks. But like I said, overall, this is probably one of the least comp builds that I've made. You know, in terms of like being easy to win on. But to go for clips and just to have fun, this is a really really fun and just amazing build overall. Because everyone gets to have a good time. Your teammates can shoot from half court with the play take. You get ankle breakers, contact dunks, all that stuff all the time. And the beautiful thing about it is not one of those builds where like you have to force it into the paint because you can shoot like a 73 point rating with hot spots and all that like you definitely can shoot it but at the same time you want to just go for clips and go dunk on people <laughs> you can do it just like that man so overall i mean you can beat comp on this build absolutely but you got to have the right teammates around you to uh to be able to make it happen but hopefully y'all enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you guys are new this has been legend Derek rose i'm gonna catch you on the next video i'm out peace